I called in the military to save me from the ghosts. The helicopters are here. Save me! Save me! God, there's hundreds of them. They just keep coming. Holy shit, I don't know what the hell's going on here. What's up, everybody? It's Grim. If you did not see, the other day I was talking about Barbara doing the laundry. Much like me, she doesn't do the laundry either. So I took it upon myself to do some laundry. I just went to Target, bought a big bag of hangers. This is horseshit. Why the fuck do I have to do housework? Dave, no. You are not using this as a closet out here. What? What I'm are you using doing? A closet? I'm using it as a clothesline. We don't have a clothesline to hang up the clothes anywhere in the yard. So I have to hang my clothes here. No, you can't hang your clothes here. The kids are going to want to swing after school. They're having friends over. I can't see their dad's shirt. You better shirts. start doing something around here. Me and the laundry haven't been done in a while. And people you are pissed. You are disgusting and so are your clothes. People no, are pissed. thank you. You know what no. happens? I forgot I even had this fucking shirt. It's been dirty in the hamper for so long I forgot I had the fucker. Same thing with this. Oh, they're gonna this has been dirty oh, since 2014. Okay. Is that my dirty problem? since 2014? Are you too lazy to put on a load of clothes, really? Oh, I just did a load of clothes, Is and I have nowhere to hang them up to dry. Yeah, you know? I feel like it's my responsibility to do your wash, and I'm sick of it. Do you do my wash? No. You're the housewife. Does the house chores? Look, the only shirt I could find to wear was this skin-tight sausage shirt. That makes my belly fall at the I can't bottom. I that you're expanding. That's my problem. It's an old shirt. It what don't fit me anymore. To knit your shirts bigger. What? You you can't be just. You gotta take this down. I, no, leave them alone. I they got. I'm having people over. I can't have closet stuff out here. Wait, wait. This it's, looks. Casual. It's hot out here. They need to dry. Dave. As a matter of fact, it's hot out here. How about you go for a swim in the pool? I'm not going for a swim in the pool. You will if I throw you in. You will if I throw you in. What are you doing? I'm throwing you in the pool. Ow! 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 She poked Don't my. Touch me. You poked my belly Touch button. Me. That's she just poked me in the belly button. She clean in there. Gross. Now no. let me take these clothes No, leave them. Uh, you're going in the pool. I swear to God, if you touch my shirt, you're going in the pool. They can't stay here. Listen to me right now. Take them to the warehouse. People are pissed. Can't you? I'll load them up in your truck for you. Come on. How about I'll I, help you. How about you bend over and I load you up now? Get in the house and leave my shirts alone or get in the pool. I'm throwing you in. That's the most disgusting thing ah! you've ah! ever said. Ah! Ah! Leave them alone. Leave them alone, you bastard. Don't. Don't talk to me like that. All right, I'm sorry. That's I'm sorry. disgusting. I'm sorry. That's really disgusting, Dave. You crossed the line. For real. I'm That's so disgusting. I'm sorry. You are filthy. Chill the hell you out. You can sleep at the warehouse tonight. I'm no. tired of you running your mouth with your disgusting jokes. Nobody likes it. No. It's disgusting and disrespectful to you. Listen. Your you don't talk to me no, like that. No, because listen about the warehouse. Doohop was telling me that he thinks, because he was so solid about the ghost stories, Doohop thinks that the warehouse might be haunted. So I'm not sleeping there. He's hell no. He's still living at the warehouse. Why is he there all the time? He hangs out there. I don't know. Leave it alone. He thinks it's haunted. I'm not sleeping there You're tonight. You're sleeping there. Yes. There. That's what you could do today. You could sleep at the warehouse and vlog about the ghosts since you like them so much. Get this crap. You're gonna 3 a.m. challenge at the warehouse to find out if it's haunted. We're going to get a Ouija board. It's going to be insane. You are not. I told you. We don't what? do Ouija boards. Why not? Because if you do, we're getting a divorce. Why? What's wrong with the Ouija Haven't board? Have you seen The Exorcist? No. <laughs> it's not happening. Listen. It's not happening. Well, listen. I do know one for one thing. What? Whether it's a ghost, whether it's a demon... We don't need all these scary things on our channel because you're the most terrifying creature there is. You're disgusting. Your belly button is and what's growing out of it. Now get this off. Seriously. You're not going to get this stuff off. I'm what? just going to vacuum it up with the pool hose. What the hell is the matter with you? Leave it alone. How about that? Ah! No, they're clean. They're clean, you ass bag. I this in. No. I'm going to shove it where doing? the sun don't shine. I yeah. swear to God. Your belly button. Uh, uh, uh. You, you, ah, stop it! Stop it! Get them off my swing set right now. This Here. is not a clothesline. Here. What? what? Don't play games with me, dude. When I go down on you, that's what it looks like. You're seriously. <laughs> ah, I'm kidding! It was a joke! Seriously sleeping at the ah, ah, Sit down! Sit down! Sit down! joke uh, i told you to watch your mouth all right i'm sorry you can get your shirts that's all you can have barbara please stop <laughs> what he's moving out good the police are on their way their help will pack his bags 
Donna, what is your problem? Can you stay out of our domestic dispute? Not when you're not loud. Just mind your fucking no, business. Do I give a shit when you oink all over your yard? <laughs> calling who an oink. It was a joke. You fat ass. Don't be. At least half your shit is outside already, so just throw it in a bag and leave. How about this? Do everybody a favor, Dave. Just leave. How about this? I have an idea. Fuck off and shut your mouth. Quit being a menopause mode. Go. Menopause Bye. mode. Bye. Even your wife you guys. See what I have to deal with here? I'm going to the warehouse. And I'm sleeping in the warehouse then. That's, don't come back in this fence. You're not talking to me like that. This bullshit. It was a fucking joke. No, I told you to watch. I warned you. And you didn't. Let, don't come in behind this Let fence. Let me in the house. Do not come in this fence. Let me in. No. So do hop. Yeah, buddy. So... You know, I've been going around and looking at these ghost stories and all that kind of stuff, and you're telling me that the warehouse is haunted? Did you hear those voices? I do hear voices. You can hear, look, you can you hear the ring going. That warehouse is haunted as fuck. Are you sure there's not people in there? You hear them? Are you sure there's not people in there wrestling right now? I don't think so. I really don't think so, Grim. You first. You first. I, I hear the noise, you first. You're the one. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look. Look. Are you kidding me? Told you it wasn't haunted. It was just a bunch of guys in the warehouse. Told you it wasn't haunted. Dumber than a bag of dicks. <laughs> Are you seriously dumber than a bag of dicks? I mean, I mean, it's, you know. Anybody would have thought it was a ghost. Anybody. And yeah, if you open the door, you would know it's not too stupid. Anybody would have thought that, bro. All right, so the problem is none of those nutsacks wanted to hang out with me at the warehouse until 3 a.m. and do the challenge, so that's not going to happen right now. But maybe we'll do it very soon. And not only that, but it's 7.41 right now. It's, uh, we'd have to wait hours for 3 a.m. because, you know, unlike the other assholes that do that shit, we actually want to do it at 3 a.m. So... So I wanted to share this funny video with you guys. Check this out. First of all, that's not me. You have no idea how many times someone has sent this to me. Most of my friends, no less. I guess they're all seeing it on their Facebooks. Saying, oh my God, that's you, Dave. Oh my God, that looks just like Grim. Or whatever. It's not me. I mean, yeah, the guy's a fat ass and looks like Shinsuke Nakamura's shirt, which looks like my shovel style shirt, but it ain't me. But my thought process here is, do you think this guy did that on purpose, hurt his own kid to try to get views? Because that'd be horrible. And then people would be pissed and I would be pissed. Here I am sitting in my car because the Red Mist period dragon is giving me anxiety. Like, do you guys ever get anxiety? I can't handle it anymore. I just, it literally ruins my life and it's just, it makes me shut down. And uh, it, it's so hard going through life with like anxiety. And the thing is, is I'm a strong person, and I don't ever want to let it beat me, and I don't ever want to feel defeated. And, and just some days, I just feel defeated. And today was almost one of them. And I almost let myself be defeated. And then I said, no, I will not give in. I will not lay down. I will not lose. I will stand strong, and I will not let this anxiety, this horrible feeling, it's like a chest pain, like a heart attack. I went to the heart doctor. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack because I'm fat. And they said, no, your heart's fine. You're good to go. You're not clogged up, nothing awesome but I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack it's just anxiety and I said I can't let this anxiety beat me I don't want to be beat down you know things go bad some days life is a struggle not everybody has it great every day all the time you know even people you think man they got it made man they got money man they always doing fun things what, you think they don't have bullshit in their lives too? Because they do, I promise you. Nobody has it made, we're all human, and we all have to deal with bullshit. And unfortunately for me, there is a lot of bullshit in my life. People say, well, Grim, I want a daily vlog. Grim, I want a daily vlog. I want to see a family vlog. Well, guess what, some days, you know, the kids wake up early and they gotta go to school, and they're at school. And what do I do? I did fucking three loads of laundry today. And then I had to go to Target and buy a bunch of stuff because Barbara's cleaning up the house because Amy's having a birthday party. And, you know, then we get into a fight because I'm hanging up the damn clothes. Then we get in a fight 
And then I go to GTS Wrestling, and I film wrestling, and I edit wrestling, and I upload wrestling, and now here I am, sitting in my car, all by myself, talking to you guys, and if you're still watching, thank you so much. You guys mean the world to me. I am nothing in this world without you. And I just, you know, my anxiety, it crushes me because it makes me think that, you know, you guys aren't going to like my videos anymore. You guys don't want to watch me anymore. Fuck you, give it subscribe. Oh, my God. Uh, I think that was fake. Or, oh, my God, it was fake. Or, Wrestling's fake. Unsubscribe. Like, it happens. And I don't understand it. Like, a lot of times I get a lot of these comments and I just, I don't understand them. And they trigger my anxiety. And, but at the same time. I get so many good comments and so much love and feedback from you guys. And that's what motivates me and that's what keeps me going. When the hate tries to shut me down, I stand strong and I will not let it beat me. I won't let Red Miss Period Dragon beat me. I won't let the YouTube haters beat me. I won't let the Twitter haters beat me. I won't let the fucking assholes in the independent wrestling locker rooms beat me. I will not go down. You know, we had something go on on Twitter the other day. Some jerk ass was trying to make like, like, news about us and it was trying to ruin us with with like fake news he was putting out fake news and shit it was trying to ruin us i would not let that beat us it won't fucking happen i will stand strong and i want you to stand strong i don't want you guys to ever feel so defeated that you can't go on anymore because the minute that you quit is the minute that you lose and the minute that you lose it's over don't let it end be strong stand tall and if you're not done with that we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!